primary election watch, there are a lot of candidates this time around on the ballot, but many dropped out of the race before today. For some voters, it was just too late. Their ballots had already been mailed in, and that's why there's a call for the state to look into ranked choice voting. Yeah, News 5's Allison Zimmerman live tonight at one of the polling drop-off places and with more on the pros and the cons. So what'd you find out here, Allison? Yeah, Rob and Elizabeth, and I should mention that we've been seeing quite a bit of cars coming through here as those ballot boxes are set to close here at 7 o'clock tonight. But this ranked choice voting is something the Secretary of State's office is looking into. But I did speak with former Secretary of State Wayne Williams earlier today, and he says this is a complex process. A steady stream of cars over the lunch hour at this ballot drop off. But as many Coloradans turn in their votes, there are already conversations on changes for the next primary. In some cases, voters selected a candidate, turned in their ballot before their candidate of choice called it quits. If Coloradans already cast their voted ballot, they cannot vote again. That's why Secretary of State Jenna Griswold wants to take a closer look at ranked choice voting. Voters would rank the candidates on a scale instead of just selecting one. The concept is not unfamiliar. Here's a look at all the states with some type of ranked choice voting, whether at the local, state, or federal level. Some places only allow overseas voters to participate in ranked choice. The questions people have to ask are, are the advantages something that outweigh the disadvantages? There are some but former Secretary of State Wayne Williams says it's a complex solution. He says some of the advantages are a candidate could get more of the vote, but he has concern over voter turnout and the logistics of the rankings. The more information people have, the more likely they are to vote. It's a topic we can expect to hear more of over the coming months. And there are already meetings happening on this at the state level, and we'll continue to follow this and let you know if any changes do eventually happen in the future. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Allison Zimmerman, News 5.